So, earlier today I made a video on it, and I'm pissed because it was amazing, and I was physically brought to tears on the subject. And then I watched the clip, and I'll put up for evidence that I'm not, like, just remaking this. There is no audio. Just all the audio is cut out, and I'm pissed off about it. But I want to talk about something that happened to me today that really affected me, and is probably going to live with me until... until I'm out of the writing industry, or I'm just retiring. My brother goes to this middle school called Sigrogish. I went there, too. Um, and... I went to his open house, right? Um, just, I guess, to meet one of his teachers, but it ended up me meeting some of my old teachers. I went before, um, I wanted to meet my teacher, um, Miss Wright, who was my English teacher. And, um, I mean, when I had her class, she was super harsh, and she, I mean, kind of just like a dick the simplest way to say it. She was mean, and I had nights where I was like, okay, well, I really want to quit. This isn't... You know, it's just a, it just didn't feel like I was in a good environment. But I thought to myself, for some odd reason, that I would be quit if I took, like, took myself out of class. And it ended up being good that I did. It turns out that she was going to be one of the biggest influences in my writing ever. I also say my handwriting is garbage. Like, when I was in, I, it's kind of legible now, but when I was in sixth grade, complete garbage. But she didn't judge me on that. And I think that's one of the things that made her such a big kind of part of my life. And when I went to go visit my, my brother's um, teacher, I thought that I'd go visit her because when I visited before, she wasn't there. And it was kind of busy, so I just wanted to stop in for a minute just to say hi, and it ended up becoming something way more. Um, I'm pissed at myself because when I recorded the original, it was really emotional and really heartfelt, and I physically cried. And I just can't bring the tears up now. And I know when I say this next line, I probably will, but I just can't bring them out, and it's killing me because I want to. It's one of the only instances where I want to show you guys my real emotions about it. Because just saying this next part, it's just like saying anything. But when I said it with tears and I watched it, it brought me to tears again. And again and again and again. Um, I went up to her, and I guess she recognized me first, but I still said who I was. Because she may have thought I was somebody, I don't know. I said, you know, I had your class in eighth grade. She was like, oh, well, what are you, a junior now? I'm like, I'm a senior. When it was over, I went to go talk to her. And I remember what I was going to say in my head. I don't want to interrupt your time, but I want to let you know, just thank you for, you know, being in my life. And I want to let you know I'm going to fulfill a career in writing. But when I, when I was saying it, I was in full tears in front of her. And in the moment, I was like, God, I'm just being, like, the worst right now. I think it was one of those moments where in the moment I didn't realize, okay, this is a gigantic deal. But me saying that to her was as close as I'm ever going to get right now to telling my parents that I'm going to get married or telling them I'm going to have a baby or, you know, finding out the gender of my baby. I told her I'm going to be going to Columbia College in Chicago um, to become a screenwriter, something I've been testing on this channel. When I said it, it was more like, I'll tell you, I'll always like the heavy crying. I think I'm making this video to remind myself, you know, me, the me that's watching this right now, that maybe five, ten years ago, when we started this giant journey, this was the first step. This was the first thing, the first step into the doorway, into this giant hallway where I'm going to call my adventure. I didn't even realize that I was going to be a writer when I was a kid. I thought I was going to be a cartoonist. I think she planted the seeds that brought me into writing. And my mom said something really ironic. Um, so she brought it up to me. My handwriting is terrible, and yet I want to fulfill a career where I do nothing but that. And I find that amazing. And the main reason why I'm making this is... You don't need to know what you're doing in life. You don't even need to know 
you're doing tomorrow. But as long as when you find out what you're doing, you take the first step, everything past that point, because you love what you're doing, it's going to be easy. And you're going to love every second. When I walked out of that school, even though I was in complete tears, and even though I looked like a mess, it was one of the happiest moments of my life. Because opening the doors and going outside was almost like saying to myself, my name is Joseph Scanlon. I'm a screenwriter. And I'm big. It was one of those moments that I'm never going to be when I walked out of that school, even though I was in complete tears, and even though I looked like a mess. It was one of the happiest moments of my life. Because opening the doors and going outside was almost like saying to myself, my name is Joseph Scanlon. I'm a screenwriter. things up. You don't need to know what you're doing tomorrow, but just realize that no matter where you're going, 